Welcome to this video. Today we start with two-factor authentication in the Spring Authorization Server. After logging in with a username and password, we get a second or more pages for additional user information. We start with a diagram representing the flow. We start at the login endpoint. Then we are presented with a login page where we have to enter the username and password. If we close the page the flow stops and we have to start over. If we click login we go to with a post request to the login endpoint. Here it checks if the data is correct. In case of incorrect data, we return to login with a get request via the failure handler. If the data is correct we go via the success handler to the TFA handler. Here the username password authentication token is temporarily stored in a store. And the token is replaced by an anonymous authentication token. We now send a GET request to the authenticator endpoint. This endpoint shows the authenticator page. If we close the page the flow stops and we have to start again. If we enter a code we send a POST request to the authenticator endpoint. Here it checks whether the code is correct. If the code is wrong, we return to the authenticator endpoint with a GET request. If the code is correct we get the username password authentication token back and the flow continues and we get an access token. We have started a new project. We first look at the POM XML file. Spring Boot Starter version 3.1.4 Java version 21 And the dependencies Spring Boot Starter OAuth 2 Authorization Server And Spring Boot Starter Timeleaf In the application YAML we only have the server port 9000. The main class is a standard Spring Boot main class. In the security config class we will only go over the most important issues. In the default security filter chain bean. We have a request matcher, authenticator with has authority, role 2FA required. And an extension of the login config. With a success handler, TFA handler we provide the authentication store here. And a failure handler, Simple URL Authentication Failure Handler The Authentication Store class we use the get and save methods to temporarily store the username password authentication token for later use. TFA Handler class implements Authentication Success Handler. We first make the Security Context Repository and Anonymous Authentication token available. Pay particular attention to the authority role 2FA required. With constructor injection we make a authentication success handler and the authentication store available. In the constructor we configure the authentication success handler with the target URL authenticator. This ensures that after a successful login we automatically switch to the authenticator endpoint. In the onAuthentication success method we save the username password authentication token in the store, and create an anonymous authentication token with the set anonymous authentication method. Finally, we provide the anonymous authentication with the authentication success handler. The last class is the login controller. Here we need the security context repository again and an authentication failure handler. With constructor injection we make an authentication success handler and the authentication store available. Furthermore we have the methods. Login with get mapping, for a custom login page. Authenticator with get mapping, for the authenticator page. Finally, we have the authenticator, with post mapping for controlling the code and handling success and failure. The code here is hard core and the code compared to 123. If the code is correct we create an authentication success handler with on authentication success, 
Here we use the request, response, and the get authentication which restores the username password authentication token from the authentication store. And the username password authentication token also saved in the security context repository. The last files are two HTML files. Login HTML is a very simple login form without JavaScript or styles. The authenticator HTML file is also a very simple form. This is all for the code, we can now start up our project and test it. In Insomnia we can test the server. If all information has been entered correctly, we can request an access token from our server. Click on Fetch Token, we now get a simple login form where we can log in with user and password. Once we click on Sign In we get a second page. We can enter a code in this authenticator form. The correct code is 123, if we now click Submit we will receive a Refresh Token. An ID Token and an access token. This is it for this first part, the intention is to expand this project piece by piece into a full-fledged system. In the next video we will expand the project with a third login page, we will then go from two-factor authentication to multi-factor authentication. As always all comments are welcome and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.